So I left the shades off so maybe we can talk a little bit more seriously here. So I put up a video a couple days ago, I'll link it up here, that talks about my first experience with uh, Betaflight 4.2 and kind of building on, troubleshooting a quad, everything like that, blah, blah, blah. What I want to talk about now is we're going to do a talk and fly video with this quad here. So there is nothing special about this Source 1 at all. This has the 6S Sam Gooks on it, a JB stack with like, what is that, a first or second generation uh, BL Heli 32. I have built it a little bit lighter by using titanium hardware, Unify Race 400, which is super light, Crossfire, of course, the Minion, so good FPV feed, super light GoPro TPU mount, all that kind of stuff. So it comes in at about 665 to 670, depending upon what 6S battery I'm using. So you don't have to have the best stuff to get the best flight performance. But keep in mind that since about Betaflight 4.0, this quad has not changed. So listen to Mr. Steel when he talks about you get to know your ship when you don't change things all the time. And I've recently fallen back into that trap and I'm going to keep playing around with some stuff. But this is one quad that will not change, just like my other Flight 1 quad that will not change. So to cut to the chase, this thing flies it just flies freaking great. It's It flies better in a lot of ways than my Flight 1 quad. My Flight 1 quad, it, in some ways, it's a heavier quad. It's more of a cinematic thing. This is, uh, it's hard to explain. We'll do the talk and fly. And the other thing I want to know is, you know, Mark, UAV Tech, you're the man. I've been binge watching your videos over and over and over highly suggest all of you guys do that too so that way you can kind of get a handle on this stuff a couple commenters said oh beta flight 4.2 defaults are fine and your feed forward values of 200 are too high and this and that um you're you're wrong i'm sorry i, I disagree i have logs to prove it and i have flight footage to prove it so what i want to know is if you guys are interested in seeing me do something like Mark has done, where he does a certain flight moves and then goes over what the black box logs actually should look like. I mean, I have taken my logs on one screen, put his on the other, and tried to compare both of them on how things are actually doing and take a lot of his, you know, ideas and theories and apply them. And I honestly couldn't be happier. I mean, this is definitely close to a $200 cheap bare bones parts quad when it's all said and done, and it flies better than the one that's $100 more sitting right over here. So let's go out and do this talk and fly. It was a little bit windy. We're going to talk through what I feel and everything like that, and let me know in the comments below if you want me to do those uh, maneuvers and black box and all that kind of stuff or if you just want to watch Mark, uh, the expert on it. So let's get to that right now. Thanks for watching. Once we're done with that, we'll cut out. So one thing I like to do is just these big swooping turns because they can really aggravate the quad a lot. And if you got some higher eye gains or your PD bounces off, you, It'll be really rough around there. So that sounds really good. So we're gonna go over here to the field now and I'm just gonna do a throttle step. Chop the throttle there. Everything's coming down just perfectly. The whole throttle step sounded really clean. Straightforward flight here just feels real good. Definitely, you know, just feels really in control. If I want to hammer it back and go around the other way, just like minimal prop wash. Things just feel super locked in and in control. The 
like it might not feel as stiff as like my flight one quad but that could all be down to like rc smoothing and stuff like that so if we do some rolls good stops not too abrupt you know you can control it with your stick I'm using the new uh, rate system same thing with flips We kind of do like, uh, you know, some of the step moves that he talks about. I mean, I don't see any like crazy bounce back or twitching or nothing in the FPV. Everything just feels real good and I can hear it. It sounds really clean. come back over here very little prop wash I mean that's like a super aggressive drop right there do some uh, tighter proximity here Do a punch out and fall down through there. You know, and I'm not really, not really struggling to do a whole lot of this. It's really very commanding right now. I feel a little nervous going a little fast through those trees, getting some extra break up. I'm sure the video looks a little twitchy. Uh, we can do some uh, throttle pumps. You know, the nose looks nice and stable. I'm completely chopping and going to zero. FPV feed is super clear, We've got nice video going on, you know, just low noise, like it's just, you know, low electrical noise, low frame noise and motor noise, and it's just really freaking impressive and flying nice. I mean, it flew really good before, but just the changes I've made to the tune that kind of go along with... Uh, the stuff that 4.2 has done has just really made things just a million times better. So good, I'm about to kill this battery, 3.3 .3 volts. We'll come in and land.